Hello guys, just a quick update on the route. So basically, as we can pan out, you turn to see here that we got the basic idea of the route. This is this is the test track. And the idea being is that this is just basically for me to run the locos in. And and just basically have something just to haul some consists around or whatever. So we're in the old spare bedroom. Um and basically it's just a it's just a board a six foot by four foot board that um I literally just wanted to set up so I can actually just like I said just uh, run run the stuff around just run it rip run bed the locos in 15 minutes in each direction and occasionally just get a loco on and run some consist a consist round. that's all it is behind me is where the burton road the depot is going to be built i'm waiting on the baseball to deliver be delivered because it's bespoke baseball being made up to my dimensions and all that sort of thing yes i mean i could have done it myself i mean i still got to create it and everything but it's all being made it's being made from scratch so fittings everything so yeah um it's so basically this afternoon yesterday afternoon this afternoon i spent just running in the locos um the mpv was running last night the 56 and the 33 has been running this afternoon there's the 36 56 and 33 sorry has been running this afternoon i'm currently doing the last leg of running in the um Bartman 20. Now, unfortunately, the 73 that I bought, this little puppy here, the 73, unfortunately, needs um, its uh, new tyres. So I've got to try and figure out where I can get them to, and then I've got to look online to see if I can find a tutorial on how to take the 73 to bits and put the tires on i want to sort of try and do this and learn how to do this myself so so yeah but um it's just a just a short layout update basically all this is not secured for the simple reason that that point there is going to go because i've got stuff derailing on it and it works one way well it doesn't work one way with stock and it works the other way with other stock and yeah so that's going to go the siding's going to go on the inside of this siding here so this is going to be a normal one of these curves going to be put there that's going to go there's going to be a make sure i don't get the wire on there thing. there's go over here there's going to be um just a loop to put in there a little run round loop there'll be a little short track and then maybe um over here another point put here um, with another one of these um, these thingies, these curves, so I can have another siding. So this one will be slightly longer. Um, but I'm going to try and try and do it in the um, with the little track plan there. So that will be something that I'll do later on tonight. Um, yeah, and hopefully um it will work um and then again it will be um something that's that that it, it, it'd be where i can store more wagons or more locos if i need them sort of thing so currently i've just got some coaches out these are the ones that i bought second hand um hst coaches the hst coaches they're just too light and for me i think they need a bit of weight in them so I heard a little trick that might be see if I can get some wheel weights and put one or two in them. So mainly one, I think it is, and then just fix them down. And then basically um, they can uh, they can add a little bit of weight to the consist. But um, yeah, as it is, I'm happy. The problems that I faced with B and Q when I entered, you know, I, I supposed to have ordered. I I, ordered, I did order it carried it to the place where they cut it and um uh six foot by four foot sheet which was 
similar to this and a two foot by four foot cut off and then basically i find that when they deliver it they delivered a brand new eight foot by four foot sheet and not the one that i had cut and paid for so i was kind of peeved off at being q for that um and yeah so um uh that is uh, the current thing at the moment. So I should be receiving the baseboards for Burton, the actual depot, in probably a next week or two um, because there's about a five to six week lead time. Um, and uh, yeah, so here's hoping that uh, we can, um, I can start constructing the baseboards which will be more the focus on here the, the thing at the moment for me is just get this test track this track this track will stay it will be used for um um for uh for like i said testing stuff out and and that so um yeah i'm pretty pretty pleased at that but um as it goes at the moment, we're just waiting on the Burton Road stuff. And Burton Road, it won't be a project that's done in a couple of weeks. It's going to take a few months, uh, a year or two, just to get it how I want it to do. And it might be that, obviously, the way things are going, obviously, in my personal life, that we might not get to do it because things happen. And I'm hoping it won't, isn't like that and that, you know, I can get to a place when everything does go pear-shaped, which it will do. Um, those of you who know, know. Um, so, yeah. But I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be okay and um, we'll sort something out. So what I'm going to do now is just... She's done a 15-minute run round, my little chopper. I love that. That is so cool. She's coming back. Oh, hey! Look at that. I like that, so I'm just going to snap a pic. That'll go up on the Facebook page. Right, big hand of God moment here. Just going to move her off. God, she's heavy. She's very. She's a quite heavy loco. Right, so this is the MPV. Oh, I just run it off the track. So I'll show you that. Just move her over there a minute. This is a bit light out, but yeah. So the room is a mess. I mean, I've done what I wanted to get done, which was to um, was to uh, oops, camera control was terrible. There you go. To literally get the little test layout set up, and I've got the room. Plus, I've got to do a couple more bits to get the um, the thingy done. So, um, yeah, we're breaching on 10 minutes. I don't want to go on and on and on sort of thing, but there'll be another update at some point. So I will start designing tonight and at some point get another couple of points in and um, thingy. But that that point will probably end up being sold. I'll sell it. So that'll go on eBay. If you check on my eBay, then there will be stuff. I will be linking stuff on from the eBay account onto Burton Road, the Burton Road face pay, Facebook page. Um, so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, then hit the like button, hit the sub button. Um, usually I'm doing real trains, virtual trains with Trains in World. I stream twice a week, Trains in World on the PlayStation and uh, on once a week on the Xbox um occasionally so there's sometimes when i won't do xbox on the um trains in world just i've got other things i need to do on a monday 
Um, but yeah, check the Facebook page at Hentis Rail um, or at Burton Road for more info. There you go. That's the Facebook page. This is the Facebook page for the model. So Burton Road. And um, yeah. So thanks, guys. Anyway, I will speak to you in the next one. Just leave a comment. Um, I aim to do some live streams at some point, but just a little bit unclear as to how sort of thing, how we're going to do it. Okay, because it probably means buying more, procuring more equipment. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right, anyway, thank you all. This is going to be it for today. And I'll, so don't forget, hit the like button, hit the sub button. And um, yeah, come and say hello. Just join the Facebook page. We kept up to date on that. And yeah. But yeah, guys, thank you all very much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, she's caught off on the bloody wire. I just derailed. Look, there you go. Oops, a daisy. This is why you don't do wires. There you go, anyway. But oops, a daisy. Right, anyway, that'll go in the clip department. Speak to you later, guys. Thank you all. Bye bye. Stand well away from the edge of platform two. The approaching train is not scheduled to stop at this station.